It's your host, Holly, and it's time for a little teaser talk. Welcome to Rockville at Daytona International Speedway with Foo Fighters. It's time like this. Motley Crue. Slipknot. I am a world before I am a man. Disturbed. Limp Bizkit, Queens of the Stone Age, Judas Priest, and more. Welcome to Rockville, May 9th through the 12th. Four days, five stages, 150 bands. On sale now at welcometorockville.com. What's up, everyone? Happy Teaser Talk Tuesday. Today we have some very cool, rad, I don't know how to say it, it sounds cool, guys with us today. Um, they are barely awake, and they're also barely awake, just like <laughs> myself. <laughs> So I am so excited, though, because you guys have a um, boundary breaking sound that seamlessly merges rap, pop punk and rock, which is why you guys are on the show, because I eat that shit up. So welcome, yeah. guys. Yo, welcome. what's up? Thanks everybody. for having us. Yes. Thank you so much for having us. We're super excited to have this. You caught us at a perfect time. We're shooting a music video right now. So we're on the psych wall. Mm -hmm. So it was like a perfect background. break. Perfect background. Yeah. Right. You can see the light. Yeah. It's like look the, at you guys. Kind of the halo above my head. Yeah. yeah, I like that. That's cool. Yeah, that was intentional. That was intentional for sure. Um, but yeah, cool. I like it. Thanks so much for having us. We're just stoked to be on this. You know, the funny story is I actually discovered you guys on Instagram, which oh, yeah. I know it's so funny. It's like you guys aren't new, and we'll definitely dive into your story here in a second. But I was going through, like, you know, like everybody else does, like just mindly scrolling through reels, yeah, and Gothic right. Mansion came up, and, you know, me. I would say former emo kid, but I'm definitely still that. Like, you know, you go that weird transition period of like you're an emo kid and then you try being a normal adult and yeah. you're like, it's not a phase. I actually am this. So I like, I was like, whoa, this is really cool. So of course I added it to my playlist, started listening and yeah, I'm just super stoked to have you guys on. Thank you so much. I'll give you a funny story about e uh, Gothic Mansion actually. So I recorded that song. So I dropped it September 21st, my birthday, September 22nd. So I dropped it, um, and the reason I actually dropped it is because I, I live right now in like Palm Beach, uh, Florida, so a little yeah. south of Florida, and I went back home, which is like um, Monroe, Michigan, Toledo, Ohio area, and I showed it to a buddy of mine, um, and he showed it to a buddy of his who was like the lead singer of a band called Convictions at the time, uh, and he broke off to do his solo project, and he was like, dude, the song is so tight, like, and somebody in his team offered to buy it. And when he offered to buy it, I was like, whoa, like that's kind of crazy. So I wasn't even planning on dropping the song. And uh, I dropped it and like, I literally wasn't prepared for what was happening. And that's why at the time my name was 734 Jake because that's the area code where I was from, 734. So Gothic Mansion literally dropped strictly because uh, somebody offered to buy it. And I was like, shit, I might have something. Mm -hmm. So I just said, fuck it and dropped it. I love it. And now look at you guys. You guys are about to record a music video and yeah. doing all the cool stuff. You guys, it's impressive too, because I creeped on like stats on like Spotify and stuff. So you guys have a great listening following base. So Thank kudos you so to much. your friend who um, showed it to your other friend and opened yeah, your eyes. Because the only reason I dropped it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, as listeners know, um, not every episode, but a lot of episodes we do like to have fun and incorporate a fun game. So we have a fun game for you guys to play later yeah. on in the, in the episode. But yep. before the shenanigans, let's kick off this interview in a professional way, if that's a thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sure. Air quotes. I'm not sure why, but, you know. <laughs> so real quick, do you guys mind doing a quick intro of yourself? And then, of course, what you do in the band? Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. So I am Jake, a.k.a. 734 Jake, a.k.a. Jake from Barely Awake is what everyone's been saying lately. I am the songwriter and the lead singer of the band kind of like the whole creative directing of the side of it and then mm. go ahead ben. my name is ben i play drums and barely awake i'm from south florida born and raised um i've been in a couple other bands you know in the past few years like i went to a college in tallahassee and there's a big music scene there but i came back down here to work and i met jake and now I'm a part of this project. Yes. And so funny how we met. I knew when I was going to transition from 734 Jake to Barely Awake that I wanted a drummer. When I used to perform in the rap scene back in the day, I always had a drummer. Even nine years ago, I had like a screamer with me as well. Um, so like I was always doing that side of like the heavier shit. And I knew I didn't know too many people in South Florida. 
So I went and signed up for lessons at Guitar Center. And mm -hmm. my whole time, the thought was like, I'm going to find someone who can like shred or can play the drums. And I ran into Ben and Ben yeah. does both. He can play like every instrument. And at first I was like, yo, do you want to just be a guitarist? Because I had no idea he played drums. And he was like, yeah. And then I asked him, I was like, yo, what instrument you play? And he's like, I play the drums, but that's like my like bread and butter is the yeah. drums. And I was like, oh, say less. So kind of cut all the other instruments out. And now I just have the drums and now me and Ben. Yeah. I, just, I started doing lessons at Guitar Center, and Guitar Center is a great place to meet musicians if you ever need them, but <laughs> he came in, and my, my boss was like, yo, this guy came in looking for you. Like, he does the emo pop punk thing. Like, he, you need to meet this guy. So he came in, and he's like, I want to learn how to play my songs on guitar. Yes. And the, the song we did was Gothic Mansion, oh, was. funny oh, enough. Nice. So I went home and, and learned it, and we, we tried to do lessons together, but that fell, that fell through pretty quick. Literally, so yep. we, ju we just spent our lessons just talking about Barely Awake in the band. And at first, he told me he was looking for maybe band members, yep. but he was being very picky. So yeah. I w in my head, I was <laughs> so, sure. so willing. I was so excited and willing to be a part of it. I didn't want to come off as too desperate. So I was like, you know, I play drums. You know, I'll be a part of it if uh, yes. you want yeah. me to. I said I'll work for peanuts. I'll do whatever it takes. But Literally, he said that, which was fun yeah. as fuck. I would, I would have done anything to be a part of it. I just love playing in bands. And this one, when I met him, it was already looking so promising and so popular. So I'm yeah. very, uh, very happy to be here. But that's so awesome. Look at you guys. Oh, what a cute little bromance. I'm digging oh, this. So thank cute. You. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, so that's kind of like the story of Barely Awake. And I moved down here a few years ago kind of to just get out of Michigan. And uh, I've been doing the music. I've been doing music for like over a decade, um, but I stopped releasing it. And then I just started releasing it under like the pop punk emo thing, like a mm -hmm. few years back. I think it was 2022, I think is when it started. Um, and then honestly, ever since then, it's just been rocking. That's so. awesome. Well, is there any chance that you guys are gonna release like an acoustic? version or acoustic album great question because i was going to bring this up to ben yeah. so we can talk about it now because he plays the the guitar mm -hmm. and there's a lot of acoustic songs that i want to do with my music mm -hmm. some that are, aren't even released yet um secrets of love is one of them that i was like actually getting made to be more pop punk the vocals are solid but the, the instrument needs to change i think we could do uh ladybug could be dope acoustic mm -hmm. um star wars alone is kind of sick yeah. godly mansion there's some of the heavier things that i think could be sick yeah. acoustic like yeah. haunt my past then, then there's whole new songs yeah at that point. yeah exactly it kind of makes it like romantic in its mm -hmm. own way yeah, yeah. So I'll, sure. I'll send you some of the unreleased music um yeah. after this podcast just to give you like a taste Yay. some of it i'm super super stoked on like um the goal for 2024 as we move into it is going to be like uh we're going to drop originals and covers just so I can try to rock. Yeah. Like I definitely want to touch on the covers too, because that's a fun thing too as well. Yeah, of course. Oh, um, yeah, go ahead. If you want me to talk about it, I can, whatever you want. Well, I'm just curious real quick though, because I want to touch on something you just mentioned. Obviously, you know, go from 734 Jake to Barely Awake. Yes. What what kind of caused that transition? Like what, how has it been? Yeah, for sure. So what caused that transition was really based on Back on that initial story at Gothic Mansion, I just kind of was like, fuck, I have to drop this song. Yeah. I was kind of like afraid. I was like, it's out in the world now in the back end. There was somebody that I didn't mention, somebody on his like friend that was a label wanted to buy it. And that kind of like spooked me. I was like, damn, now the labels have it on their hands. Like <laughs> I kind of need to do something with this. So I was just thinking, I was like, damn, I was running through like a trillion names trying to figure out like what I could become yeah. uh, and branded in. I kind of just said fuck it and went with like the area code I was rocking in, which was 734. And that's kind of where the Jake, 734 Jake came in. And then the transitional piece of that was after I think I did a million streams on Spotify, I realized that like that wasn't the name in the image that I wanted to portray because mm -hmm. 734 Jake was originally kind of like an artist, like a, like a rapper, kind of emo pop punk. Um, which I still wanted to rock, but I felt like the 734 Jake didn't kind of correlate with it. And that's when I was like, dude, I'm always tired. Fuck, I'm barely awake. And then that's kind of where that came in as, and then I found the drummer. And then it all happened so seamlessly. So really excited about how that kind of played into itself. That's so exciting. That's awesome. That definitely makes sense, though, for sure. Speaking yeah. of seamlessly, you guys blend, like, like I said earlier in the intro, rap, pop, punk, rock. How do you guys navigate those challenges of merging such different genres while maintaining the integrity of each genre? 
That's a really mm. good question. Damn. Okay, mm. so um, good for you, Holly. That was a good question. Yeah. Okay, so I would say it comes from the fact that – see, there's so much background on this. Okay, mm. so to give you, like, the cliff notes of it, I grew up rapping, right? So uh -huh. in, as we moved into, like, the college years, I was battle rapping people. At, oh, wow. Yeah, it's so random, right? And I was like crushing it. And I always was a rapper. And even back in the day, I went viral on Twitter for rapping. And um, so I always was a rapper, but I always was, I was a skater who always listened to pop punk, right? So um, I never had a band with me. And then back in the day, like you kind of needed a band to have the instruments and the sound to become like pop punk. As the generations continued, you can get these things on YouTube, right? So um, now a lot of my producers are like based out of like Greece and Japan and just like all over the world. So long story short here is like, I've always been a rapper. So as I transferred and kind of transitioned into pop punk, um, it was easy for me to kind of keep the, the integrity of being rapping. So like a lot of my music that isn't released still has like rap and pop punk merged inside of it. A, a good version of this, which is out is, uh, um, FWY maggots. I rather fuck with you. That song right there. That's mm -hmm. like pop punk and rap at the same time. And then I have a few that are unreleased that are like rap and pop punk as well, which I'll send to you after we get off this. Yeah, I can't wait. Like I'm about to end this episode right now just so I can listen to it. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. We still have a game to play. So that's funny. I mean, so you have, you know, well, I also, fun fact, I am also a rapper as well. Oh. Ooh. I'm actually not. I'm kidding. But oh, I did one time. I'm so excited. <laughs> you don't want you don't want this mouth spitting things out quickly. It does it already. But um, yeah, I actually had. Um, I always call it a real quick story. Is um, I actually rapped to Coolio, R.I.P. Oh, mm -hmm. sure. yeah. Like um, we were at a dinner, and it was at this conference. I was at a marketing conference, and there's like. It's like me, my friend Tracy. It was actually her 50th birthday. So big, big birthday, you know. Um, uh, my friend Michelle and then these two guys that worked for the concert. Well, not the concert, sorry. The marketing conference. Okay. And and I say this so in the most polite way. Um, they were like white as fuck, right? Like, white, like, you know, pocket squares, you know, like whatever. So whatever. And um, we're eating dinner and they were like, we're going around the table talking about crazy Vegas stories. And I'm like, the craziest thing I did is like see David Copperfield. Like I'm like 84 at heart, you know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, I have nothing, nothing crazy to share with you guys. Well, one of them was like, yeah, one time we partied with Coolio and then my ears pork up. Cause I'm like, wait, you did what with who? Cause low key Coolio, like I have a weird thing. Like um, my first crushes were like Dennis Rodman, Coolio, okay. Sting the Wrestler. I don't know. It's a personality it's thing, awesome. right? I love that so much. <laughs> right? Um, so anyways, I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. You know, like I could totally die tonight, like satisfied if I ever met Coolio. Fast forward like an hour, you know, dinner releases. Everyone goes on their own way. Tracy, she's like a really good gambler. So she's like playing the slot machine. I'm just in there sipping my vodka soda, watching her, you know, win. And the guy who had said that he played with Coolio, his name is Matt. He comes back up to me and he's like, you guys are not going to believe who's here. Coolio and I'm like shut the fuck up like and, and Tracy's winning at this machine she's like if I get up from this machine that's winning and Coolio's not there I'm gonna be pissed and I'm like also bro like is this your way of like trying to get us to go to the bar and have drinks with you like this is weird because I don't know this guy at this point in time other than like you know we had just met him and we go to it was at the Wynn casino and we go to the bar that's like a circle bar we do a slut lap there's no Coolio we do another slut lap and I'm like all right like one more lap, and if he's not here, like, you're not cool, my book. <laughs> so he's, like, asking random people, like, do you guys see Rakulu? And they're like, no, like, whatever, bro, like, kick rocks. Well, about the halfway through the other one, like, uh, the last lap, I see springs of hair coming up like the steps and I grabbed Tracy and I'm like, there's Coolio. Oh. So we're like, we've got to insert ourselves into his table. Yes. And long story short like we'll i look over and our friend michelle's there and i'm like what the fuck like so i'm like texting her i'm like pitch get us at that table so and this is during covid so like there's like six minimum a table and they were full so we pull up chairs like because that's what you do you just act as if so we pull up chairs we just start you know casually talking and um he was actually there with uh tiger woods's mistress girl oh shit. So gorgeous in person i mean like she's pretty don't get me wrong like 
on the video and stuff, but like in person, I was like, oh my gosh, she is beautiful. So anyways, long story short, he, I guess was doing a collaboration with Too Short at the time or something. I love Too Short. Right? So at this point, I'm not like trash. I'm not drunk, but I'm buzzed enough to have a little bit of liquid courage in me. And she was like, does anyone even know who Too Short is? And again, going back to the table, it was kind of like a whole bunch of like older white guys. And they're like, and I'm like, I know who Too Short is. Mm -hmm. Long story short, I totally sung Blowjob Betty because she asked me to. Blowjob Betty, get real good. Yep. That's so funny. So that's my infamous, how I, how we resurrected Coolio. But yeah, that was, that was fun. But he, he didn't, I didn't get like any kind of, record offers or like you know oh, nobody told me to release my music the day before my birthday so oh the day before your birthday no no, no i said nobody did nobody told me oh, really. oh yeah sorry oh, yeah. that's so, that's dope though so you met coolio mm-hmm. it was a vibe did it, you end up the whole night um so no like he actually took a shot with tracy for her birthday took a picture of her and then he was like on a mission to go back obviously with homegirl Sure. Fast forward, like, so I, we meet the people, and the funny thing is the people at the table were actually at the same conference we were at. Oh. And my friend, who's now my friend Brett, he was like, yeah, that's my homeboy. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like, you probably paid him, like, $500 to make an appearance. Like, yes. then, that's what I'm thinking in my head, right? Well, there was another marketing event with the same group, like, six months later. And at this point, like, we're, like, friends and cool. I'm like, hey, like, let's hang out. And he's like, okay, cool. So we, like, we're all hanging out. And he's like... And I was like, oh, I'll go like, hey, like, why don't you see if your friend Coolio will come hang out? He's like, okay. And I was like, this is like the real test. Like, does he, is he really cool with him like that? Literally calls him and he's like, hey, like, you should come through. We're hanging out in Vegas, whatever. And like, <laughs> I shouldn't tell all of this publicly, but whatever. <laughs> you um, never know. Um, but anyways, long story short, he comes, well, he, so Brett was like, I'll send him a picture of you. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, I'm not like trying to hook up with anybody or give them, you know, those kind of vibes with him. He's like, no, 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 it's fine. I'm like, no, but for real, I'm not like doing that. Long story short, Leo comes in and like, yeah, he was trying so hard to, to, ha- to, to escort me to my room. And I was like, that's really mm. sweet of you, but I'm a pumpkin. And I, I'm, I, you know, I've been awake since like 3 AM and that's like, this is 24 hours. It's nice to meet you, though. But did he yeah. remember you from the blowjob, Betty? No, 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 no. He is sad story. I know. Oh, sad story. Did you yeah. tell? Him? Did you like I rapped for you one day? No, because like that's not cool. Like I'm not trying to be like. Do you remember me that one yeah. time when I rapped at the table? Sure. No, I was. I try to play it cool, you know. Yeah, yeah. You gotta keep it, you know. Yeah, hundred percent. Cool. But yeah, that was a funny. That's a, always a funny story. Like. I always feel like my, if I have a hashtag, my hashtag would be like, can't make this shit up because can't make mm, this shit up. I feel it like. always happens somehow. We always get into some shenanigans. But yeah, anyways, enough about me. Back to you guys. Oh, I love it. I love hearing yeah. about you. Um, no, you're good. I, I love that story. <laughs> um, I've actually never been to Vegas. Just fun facts. Ooh. You've never I, been to Vegas? I went to Vegas once. Oh, I was man. maybe 10. Do you remember Chris Angel? That's who I saw yeah. there. I he must have fallen off. I don't hear anything about him at all. I think he's still and in Vegas. I've never watched. I mean, I used to watch him on TV way back in the day. Yeah, like, when he was like Mind Freak or whatever. Yes, yes. I think he, he still has a residency there, though. So weird. I <laughs> he was just. I don't know. He he did like. We're gonna have to cut that part out, yeah. Holly. It's fine. It no, cool. it's fine. We're wrong, real here. Uh, <laughs> I I ran into or excuse me, I performed in Reno, Cal or. Nevada, yeah. but never been to. Never wow, been to Vegas. I feel like one year I went to Vegas like six times, just because that's where a lot of conferences are held. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. like at this point I was about to like have like a forward my mail and change my address because like I feel like I was there so much. But I'm actually going there in a couple of weeks. So right. what are you doing there? My friends, um, they are in a gay softball tournament league okay. thing. Mm-hmm. So I just I'm a fan girl, and I just go there and you know. Yeah. Just go with them. So, not for anything yeah. fun, but yeah. What is you? Have you? I'm sure you've seen this. You're a fan of emo and pop punk. The When We Were Young Fest in mm. Las Vegas. Yep. I'm dying to go. You haven't been yet, have you? I haven't. You know, I was one of the many that was like on their keyboard, and it sold out so fast. I was like, Yeah, hey, I really? I wasn't even. Wow, I, you made it farther than I did. I didn't even bother trying because I can't. Yeah. Even. Well, that was like the first year. I didn't even try this last year because I was so yeah. like still jaded. Like I still kind of like, you know, low key. But this heard on it. So nice. They're doing like the full albums. Like these bands are playing like their albums. Oh. in. Full. That's like the 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 niche thing this year. That's going to be so I, I don't know. I'd love to go. But I would love it's to. It's so yeah. expensive. 
I know. Hmm. Okay, well, there's a will, there's a way. Maybe we can, maybe you guys can go to Vegas and we can experience Vegas together. That's there you go. That's please, the first step. We go to please. Vegas and then somehow please. we finesse our way into the festival. Mm. Correct. You just Correct. cast through the gates. Yeah. You know, I've done that before. Like, no, well, not to that festival, obviously, because I just told you I haven't been there. But uh, there was one in Colorado and I just got on a whim. I was like, I want to go to the show. And it was like sold out. And I get there. It's so stupid. Like I get a hotel, I get my airfare, I fly there literally by myself. So I'm like solo, just, you know, whatever. And I go, cause I'm like, maybe I can get like a ticket at the door. Of course there's no tickets at the door. No. So I'm like, well, this is a, like, I'm kind of like, you dumb bitch. Like, why would you do this? As I'm like walking back to hit an Uber, this guy comes out of nowhere and he's like, Hey, are you wanting to go to the festival? And I was like, yeah. And I'm like, do you have a ticket to sell? He's like, my wife couldn't make it because my daughter or something, I can't remember, but long story short, he was like, I have an extra ticket you can just have. I'm not selling it. It was like a VIP ticket. So I'm like winning. So, hey, the luck's in our favor. We might be able just to, you know, get in there. That's so. sick. <laughs> I've only done it once to like a random, like there was a queen tribute band that came in and they were sold out, but I wanted to see it. And then like, I literally saw the security guard on the side. I was like, dude, can I just slide through? And he literally was like, like acted like he looked away and I was like, Oh, I know what that oh, means. Nice. And I just literally slipped through it. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Um, so <laughs> it's going back to you guys. As band. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting. Cause like you said, you know, rap, you like did the whole rapping thing or you do the whole rapping thing. And then you grow up with the pop punk sound. So what are some kind of the musical influences that you guys have on barely awake? Ooh. Well, I'll tell you what I think Go ahead. we sound like, I mean, Oh, okay. I've never heard this. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I've mentioned it to you. I'm sure. I mean, I think the obvious one is some MGK. Like he's like the biggest mm -hmm. guy merging sort of pop punk and rap right now. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of like, you know, in terms of like, there's like, you know, we do a lot. Of, I would say metalcore is a big part of the barely awake sound. Yeah. Um, yep. I don't know. That reminds me of bands like A Day to Remember and Ice Nine Kills. And mm -hmm. oh, I love Ice Nine Kills. Yeah. Things like that. That's just what I hear personally. Like I haven't been a part of the songwriting process yet, so Jake will, might have different answers. But it just sounds I mean, like, yeah, no, you know, like no. emo is back in style. Like it's popular again. It's cool again. Remember there was yeah. like that 10, 15, 20 year period where it was really lame. Like if you were emo, you were, you were a loser, but now it's, yeah. now it's cool again. Um, and a lot of people are like merging that. A lot of like the rap stars these days, like MGK and like I would say Juice World and Little Uzi, they're all kind of inspired by emo in one form mm -hmm. or another. But that's I my thing. No, no, you're, I, I love all the artists you just mentioned. Um, I think some of the heavier shit is based, I mean, kind of off like Bring Me the Horizons, a huge inspire, like inspiration on that. Um, a Day to Remember. I listen to like all the older albums that they all dropped from back in the day. Um, motionless and white. I love yeah. bare tooth. Mm. Um, so a lot of those artists kind of inspire some of like the, the instrumental side when it comes to the writing of the lyrics, I, it's a, that's harder because I kind of just, I write kind of what I'm feeling, which is like yeah. your cliche to say, but kind of like just, I walk in circles and then like, I'll have my microphone in front of me and I'll stand up and I'll like perform the song live and I'll envision whatever I'm saying, the world saying back to me. And if I feel like I could see a crowd singing it, I feel like it kind of checks the vibe of like, okay, that's dope. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of like how I write my music. So it could literally be any type of style, any vibe, but like I'm envisioning the world kind of singing it back. Very so, cool. I love yeah. that. That's awesome. So back to the covers that you guys do. I know the most recent one you dropped was Dear Maria, Count Me In, which was yes. good job on that one. Um, what's your favorite song to cover? We are ch currently shooting a music video for Check Yes, Juliet. Ah, yes. Like, as we sit here and chill, mm -hmm. like we're doing Check Yes, yeah. Juliet. I want to do, I love like back to all those like emo songs. I want to mm -hmm. do like Mayday Parade. Um, like a ton of their songs. Um, what's my favorite song to cover? I don't, that's a really good question. I I know a lot of bands do like some of the modern, like top 50, top 100 songs. Mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to sway away from that. The first cover we did was uh, a Taylor Swift cover, which it honestly, that's it, super went, sick. it went so hard, yeah. but I kind of think moving forward, we're going to just kind of stay in like the OG emo, OG pop mm -hmm. moment. Just because it just, it feels right. That's like yeah. the music 
I listen to. Yeah. I would want to like pay homage to them because yeah. they're just so sick. I so. really like that. Like most, you know, like the uh, Pop Goes Punk albums, like most punk bands that will cover pop songs, but you don't see many rock bands covering, you know, classic pop punk songs. At the very least, if they do cover it, it's, it doesn't sound much different from the original. Mm -hmm. I like that we kind of put like a heavier kind of metalcore, Bring Me the Horizon spin on like the classic quintessential pop punk classics, you know? Yeah. And even on um, All Time Low's Dear Maria, at the very end, like I kind of, I scream in it. It's, you can hear it. Um, it's not like super, super like prevalent, but it's there. Um, on Check Yes, Julia, I, I don't really scream too hard, but like I really personally love trying to like include screams into these pop punk songs because it's just so, to me, it's so sick. Like if I were perform them live, I want to like just turn up. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, what about new music you guys got coming out? Let's chat about that real quick. Okay, so 2024 is going to be tons of new music. As I was saying earlier, we want to drop 30 songs this year at minimum. So last year, I think I did 10 or 11, um, maybe a little, maybe less, maybe one more. I don't know. Um, but this year coming up, we're trying to drop like literally like multiple times a month, original cover, original. I think we counted the other day and we have like maybe 10 or 12 unreleased originals as we sit here and have this conversation. Um, so all I really have to focus on is the covers this year. And I'll be at like in the twenties as we move forward into 2024, we'll probably drop, uh, the song that we call zombie. We have haunt my past. We have skater boy pop star. We have your God. Now we have check yes, Juliet cover. Um, I'd have to go through my notes. Oh, the barely awake song. Yeah. That inspired yeah. Barely, barely awake, awake. The song. That shit goes. That cool. Um, yeah, so moving forward, it's going to be like tons of like kind of what, what would you say the genres are like metalcore? Yeah, of those songs, yeah, more metalcore with kind of like rap verses. Like some of them, yeah, some the, of them. like the choruses are very metalcore and there's metalcore breakdowns, but some of the verses yeah. are like kind of rapping with some 808 drums sometimes. So yeah, yeah cool. it's a pretty equal blend. Yeah, of genre. Sick. I'm excited. I can't wait to listen to it. And Maybe yeah, some music. so exciting. Oh, maybe too. some acoustic versions. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yes. I love it. Okay, well, let's have some fun now. Okay. Um, today's game is going to be emo. Oh, oh, I'm excited. I am so, so I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Yeah, look, I think I'm going to do well personally. I'm going to put it out there. Just based on the name, I think I'll do very well, but I don't, you know, I want to get ahead of myself here. I mean, I feel like I made it easy for you guys, so please don't let me down. Oh. But this is today, you know, with this game, it's just like regular Jeopardy, but it's a lot sadder, obviously, you know, oh, email. Yeah, but so you guys are going to be competing against each other. Oh, no. And oh, no. <laughs> oh, plot twist. Let's so see. the winner is going to be dubbed the first teaser talk emo jeopardy champion so nice. no the pressure first. the first this is the first time we're playing this game so this is no I'm, the, you already have like the crown on your head i know i know this is like it does look like a like a champion picture right there i'll try to go easy i don't know i don't know i'm just guessing i'm assuming if i it's you know well let's get into it let's see here let's see if i can do like this like transition last few percent do we have to say what is <laughs> what? Yeah, so what is, who is, okay. all those fun stuff. Okay. Let's see. Yes. I have a buddy from Dirty Rival in the other room. I might have to get him in here to yeah. my team. phone a might friend. might be like us two. Yeah. Sure. I mean, honestly, yeah, let's get him in here. Let's I'm going to share the screen. Can you guys see this? Or no? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Well, why is it so weird? We'll, we'll try a few. If I'm like yeah. failing, let's I'm going to totally phone a friend. So do we just okay. yell out the answer? Yeah. Well, okay. So I don't know why it's not showing the top. Wham. Sad story. So at the very top. So at this, I'm saying this like you can see my mouse. Oh yes. So the first column is finish the lyrics. Oh. Okay. That's tough. So the next column wait, is iconic wait, wait. emo jams. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Finish the lyrics. Iconic emo jams. Uh huh. And then bands we all cry to. Oh, so she did from left to right. Yes. So, um, okay. So, yeah. So we've got lyrics, 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 songs, bands. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Let's do it. 
And then I guess like if so, like we'll just go first. Um, team one, Jake, that can be you. So you can say like I'll take songs for three hundred or whatever, and then yeah. we'll do that. Okay. Oh, okay. So you, you've got Am the I, mic. Okay, I'll take bands we cried to for two hundred. Mm. Okay. Lee Singer. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Um, Pierce Avell. We're sleeping what? with sirens. Why, Why didn't you let that? me guess it? Why did I say that? Oh, it's so close. They're the same. Yeah, no, they're there. Oh my god. So quick, dude. Oh, you know, it's a motto, right? No, trust me. I did. I always get them confused too. I'm not gonna lie. So oh, they look the same. They were both the they same. They look the same. They sound they the same. The same. The same. It's okay. I love them both. All right. So want, want, want. No points for you. No, 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 okay. All right, team two. It's your, it's your go. Uh, let's do bands for three hundred. They're not a boy band, and it's not pronounced S O S. Five seconds of summer. Oh my gosh! Yes, look at you. Nice. I was thinking three hundred three. Me <laughs> like, too. Yeah. Me too. I that trust me. First, the first second, I was like, I'm gonna get this wrong. I don't know what that. I, I was thinking the same thing as well. Like when I was writing, I was like, man, that's kind of. Oh, sorry. E. What I do? I thought three hundred three. That was my first. Yeah. Thought. yeah. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Well, then I thought, I asked, what does that so stand yeah. for? Yeah. All right, I think okay. we begin. Do I go again? Um, honestly, I don't know the rules. Let's just go back and forth. Go we'll back yeah. and forth. All right. Yeah, sorry. I should know. I should have known the rules before. <laughs> I'll do the middle rail for three hundred. I forgot what it was. It's uh songs. Songs. So the song title. This is easy. When right? I was yeah. a young boy, yeah. my, my father, father took me into the city. I was actually thinking of covering the song next. You should. should. I, that was one of the songs I sent him before we did Check Yes, Julia, and we were both mm. like 100%. So this is a song that we're 100% going to cover. Dude, I just saw this uh, this um, like Japanese band covered it, dude, okay. and they did so fucking really? well. They really? Quit. I got to look. I, gotta remember. I don't remember what their name was, but they fucking killed it. Okay. Um, yeah, so. What's the song name? title. Sorry, Welcome to the Black Parade. By my chemical yeah. romance. What not is? Too, but I'll allow it. Yeah, not too bad, dude. I'm back. Not too bad. All right. Shit, I got to step it up. Okay. All right. Yep. Let's do bands for 400. They wrote, "Can you feel my heart in drown?" These they sound softer. If he doesn't know, it's sleeping with sirens. Okay. Okay. Oh. No, nope. it's bring me the horizon. Fuck. It's such yeah. my. It's like literally one of my favorite bands. I know we were saying that. I was like, oh, they're gonna totally get that one, and then you yeah, let me down. That's so um, <laughs> okay, uh let's do let's do bands for five hundred. Ooh. The least singer couldn't keep his lips off of Jared way way back in the day while Chris Fire for Kelly Osborne. Damn, I don't know who this is. This oh my gosh, that's my favorite band. So for those who listen to the audio experience, it's this band's lead singer couldn't keep his lips off of Jared Way back in the day. He was also criticized for using Kelly Osbourne to get into Ozfest. I have no idea, yeah. but Jeremy is the one of the greatest singers of all time. Oh, man. You know what? He's the second greatest singer. This is the first. Oh, shit. Okay. Could you give me uh, a hint? Oh, no. It's who? It's the use. Oh, it's already done. Oh, damn. Yeah. I, I wouldn't guess that. Okay. Well, disappointed. But anyways, let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> what are the songs now? The used, yeah, Taste of Ink. That's the only one I know. Yep. Really? really? I mean, I know a uh, box of sharp objects. You know that mm -hmm. one? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They were oh. like, I think they were, they're really w awoken, like the emo inside me. I remember like listening yeah. to them like, way, way, way back in the day. When the first before my time. Yeah. Do you well, hear the train, Holly? Huh? Do you hear this train right now? A little bit. It's not too bad. I can hear you guys more than that. So you're good. Sure. Can I do <laughs> songs for 400? Absolutely. So cut my wrist and black cut my, my eyes. Black Hawthorne eyes. Heights, Ohio is for lovers. Nice. Good job. Yay. My band in college covered that a couple times. Did you? I love that yeah. song so That's fucking awesome. much. Uh, what is band, or the middle row again for 500? We're scared so, of the like, songs. Oh, you come uh, yeah. on. Oh, my God. Come on. This is Mayday that. Parade. Yeah. Um, and it's. Uh, oh, wait. Ah, I said, oh, you, well, I'll give it to you. You, you, you knew it. Yeah, I um. This it is counts. a. I was when I was saying earlier, it we counts. want to cover Made to Parade. This is like the top song. Oh shit, you're winning. Am I winning? Oh fuck. Yeah, oh, you are winning. It's eight hundred to seven hundred right now. 
Let's do so, so. lyrics for 300. So finish the lip, your lipstick, his collar. <laughs> what? Your lipstick, his collar. <laughs> your lipstick, his collar, I'm not on the door. I know exactly what goes on. Oh. I think it's, um. oh, it's Taking Back Sunday. It's Taking Back Sunday. Mm -hmm. and it's so what's the, what's the next line in this lyric? Don't bother, oh. Angel. Don't bother at all. It's either Angel or, yeah, don't bother. Nice. Good go. job. Let's Hell go, yeah. Baby. They can't stop you. They can't. <laughs> all right. Let's do uh, lyrics for 500. Oh, shit. I'm taking them over. You tell me where to survive, but don't just leave me here in the dark. <laughs> Fuck. How's, how's that song go? <laughs> do you know? I don't know the song at all. You tell me where to start, but don't. Holly, can, can we phone you to sing it for us? Yeah, please. That me? Let's see if I can find it. You don't want this to sing. Um, I'm I'm actually literally giggling right now at this. I'll play a snippet. Okay. Um, okay. We get we get secret shortcuts. This is a snippet. This isn't the next line of the lyric, though. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. I have it's connected to my speaker. One second. Yeah. Let's see. Can you hear? Can you hear this? No. Are you playing something? Trying to get my mic closer. Oh, it's me. <laughs> oh my god, that's my music. Oh, oh my god. god. That's oh my so I'm good. dying right now. I did this intentionally. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Don't leave me here in the dark. Oh my god. This is my emo lullaby. That's my emo lullaby, right? So do we know the rest of the lyrics? Tell me where to start, but don't leave me here in the dark. Uh oh, this is my emo. Fuck me, dude. Hold up. So, oh, I have to start. I write songs about you now. About you now. Yeah. But now damn. damn, I can't even read. You know what's funny? We were going to shoot that music video today as well. Yeah. We it was so funny. Well, and I, I put a snippet of it to where, in like the way the text reads, like you can't sing it. You know what I mean? No. So yeah. you tell me where to start, but just don't leave me here. Uh -huh. I can't even. I should know you too. So yep. funny. You're hilarious. Mm -hmm. for that. That, was hilarious. Good. that was good. That was Six. good. Six. Attention to detail. Good for you. <laughs> okay. I'll try. That's so funny. <laughs> um, I'll do songs for 200. Oh, I write sins, not There's tragedies. No fucking hat. <laughs> That this video hat. with Brandon Yuri wears the fucking hat. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I have this shit tattoo. I love it. Nice. Um, let's do lyrics. I have to redeem myself for 400. Yeah, dude. You got it. You got it. Yeah. I got you. you got it. I lost my goddamn mind. It happens all That's me again. No, it's not. Well, it might be, but this one's not you. Okay. <laughs> I, I, there's no more of your song, so okay. you don't be like head on a song. literally say that. It in sounds song. very familiar. <laughs> lost my goddamn mind. I think I say that in Gothic Mansion, though. I don't know what the song is. Wait, can you sing it again, Holly? Oh, oh sorry. I already hit the okay. answer. Excellent. I can't believe it. So it's falling in reverse. I lost my goddamn mind. Oh, I oh, lost yeah. my goddamn mind. Oh, yeah. I can't, I can't believe, I'm believe, believe I'm actually it. meant. To be here. Yeah, so oh. trying to consume. Damn. I'm actually really impressed with these answers and stuff because I thought this was gonna be a slam dunk, but then again, I wrote it. So you're crushing it. It's yeah. it's hard for me these to like good. correlate the yeah, yeah, me the too. It's a good yep. mix of challenging questions and uh slam right, dunk. You gotta do 100, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. So you have a chance. You gotta do okay, 100. I'll do a, get... uh, bands 100. What do you think? Should I get yeah, it? Fuck it. bands 100? The music of King for the Day feature Kellen Quinn let it appears that's Pierce the Veil. And and yeah. that's um King for the Day. Yes. Yeah, it's King for the Day. Correct. Good job. Oh, he says it King for yeah. the Day. Yeah, yeah, right. It's King for the Day. <laughs> 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 um, okay. Let's do two hundred. I can't win no more, but we're gonna try to get you. Small Oh, you won't guess this one then. Yeah, I don't Fuck, know. Fuck, dude, it's so hard to sing. This is like the emo like anthem back in the day. So Small this simple. is the used. And it's like it's the very beginning of I'm a fake, so it's all like you know, no. small, simple, safe price. 
rise the wake and carry me with all of my regrets. It's so funny because like they'll play it live and I went to like their 15 year anniversary again. They use like my favorite band. So I'm a nerd with it. But no, literally right. like everyone was like small, simple, safe prize. It's so funny. Like we're all so serious. Like yeah. <laughs> it's like your emo days. You got to bring it back. Yeah. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Can we buy right. I know, dude. That's I should. So funny. That's so funny. Okay. So we've got songs for 100 or finish the lyrics for 100. Okay. It doesn't matter. I'll do lyrics okay you're already the voice inside my head you're yeah i miss you my yeah i miss you blank yeah. 182 no but it's no, finished the lyrics. Lyrics. oh you're already the voice inside my head i miss you miss you don't waste yeah. your time yeah don't waste nice. on me you're already the voice, voice inside, inside my, my head, head. my yet <laughs> my yeah i'll do the middle for 100 we're going we're going down. Down. Sugar, we're going down swinging. I actually just looked the lyrics off of the song. So you I can't started. understand them at all. No, so we're going down, down in an earlier round. Yeah. Sugar, we're going down swinging. I'll be your number one with, with a bullet. Loaded God complex. Yeah, Loaded. but after down, down, it's like down, down, down. Like you're like, wait, what So he this? says we're going down, down in an earlier round. Don't even know what that is. So uh, what's the song title? Oh. Title. <laughs> um, the song title to that song is uh, Sugar, We're Going Down, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sick. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. So team two, you are officially the yeah, first. Let's go. Oh, that was baby. closer than I expected. That was Jeopardy. pretty good. Yeah. That was yeah. Than I expected, Dude, too. if I would have got my song, we would have tied 50, 14, 14. <laughs> Fuck. My own. Redo it. Redo, redo. Maybe we can after you guys are releasing some new music. Maybe we can release or we can do a new episode. Yes. Mid, then, you know, after the first year, and you can have redemption. Yeah. yeah well, we can have double jeopardy after that. Jeez, we have. I have to beat you. We'll yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I study up. My yeah. own lyrics are there again. I, I'm gonna like <laughs> study my all yeah. my own music. I know that was the best part. I was like, they're definitely gonna get this, but this is fun. And then you didn't get it, so I was like, I didn't this is get awesome. it. As as we're talking, still, I can't figure. I can't think of the. Excuse me. I can't think of the melody for emo lullaby. <laughs> I literally can't. It's like, it's gone. Oh my gosh. Okay, so congratulations. Fun game. Great nice. job. Nice. Very fun. Okay, good game. So to wrap this episode up, I just have one last question. What? Yes. And I know you guys. We've already talked about this, but let's just put a bow on it. What can listeners expect from Barely Awake in the upcoming year? And are some like cool stuff we should look forward to? Okay, the upcoming year, we were 100% looking to start uh, performing again, uh, which we haven't performed yet, so I shouldn't say again, but we're looking to perform. We're looking to, to kind of travel a little bit through the U.S., uh, maybe a little tours and perform. As the monthly followers grow on Spotify, that's like the most, like yep. we talk about it all the time. We're like, that's what we got to do first. New music. Um, a lot of people have found me on the AMVs, which is through Scroll and Toxic, um, which is on YouTube. You're going to see more of our faces, which is going to be through music videos. Uh, a lot more music and just good vibes and mm. rock. Rock and roll. Follow Barely Awake on Instagram. Yes. Yep. I can't <laughs> yeah, wait to see all the things you guys have in store for 2024. So everyone listening in, you guys get on Instagram, follow these guys, because as you just – we're entertained for the last 43 minutes. Oh, wow. They're we fucking were... awesome. I know, right? Um, yeah. So, yeah, thanks guys so much for being on. And until next week, you guys keep rocking. Thank you Holly, thank you for thank having you. us. Thank you for being a wonderful host. And we love this so much. And this was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. For the next one, I promise I'm going to uh, yeah, right, right. study so yeah, hard. Yeah, please, please do another one. But I feel like I should like mix, like, instead of emo, maybe it's like, Ooh. I don't know. Maybe I don't tell you. I don't have a shot if it's literally any other topic in the world. <laughs> okay, we'll keep it emo, but I'll make it more challenging. Oh, that was okay. already pretty hard, but yeah, maybe a little no, harder. It's gonna be, it's gonna be even more. It's gonna be, it's gonna so be more serious. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. have like the whole like whatever Alex Trebek or whatever his name is. Like I'm gonna wear like what he wears. Oh, Sue? probably oh, not. Probably like not. But yeah. I might. Fancy. We'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna study the news in case there's any yeah. more music on them on it. I'm gonna know it all. All right, well, study your own lyrics because <laughs> yeah, really. I, might just, I might just pop that in there. Yeah.
Thank you. Well, Holly, thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Teaser Talk. Head over to teasertalk.com to subscribe so you don't miss out on another episode. Until next week, keep rocking.